Throughout 2022, Yamaha Indonesia Motor Manufacturing has stopped production of several types of motorcycles, including several models in the automatic segment. The first motorbike they stopped production was the Yamaha all-new Soul GT125. This vehicle was in the spotlight thanks to its fairly large design for an entry-level scooter. The manufacturer does not rule out the possibility of presenting a similar motorbike with more sophisticated technology. The following is a row of scooter-type Yamaha motorbikes that have stopped production throughout 2022. The first is the Yamaha All-New Soul GT125. The Yamaha All-New Soul GT125 was discontinued in June 2022. Yamaha admits, it always prioritizes innovation in each of its products. So, by stopping production of these motorbikes, they can focus on developing new, more up-to-date products. Next is the Yamaha Mio Z. Two months after the production of the all-new Soul GT125 stopped, Yamaha stopped production of the Mio Z in August 2022. In fact, when it first appeared, this mount had become a target for consumers thanks to its sporty design and low price. Mio Z itself was first introduced in 2016 and became another variant of the Mio M3. The motorbike only lasted six years in the Indonesian automatic scooter market. Next up is the Yamaha Mio S. Yamaha Mio S was discontinued at the end of October 2022. Yamaha Mio S was first introduced in October 2017. The Yamaha Mio S last received a refresher in mid-2019. Since then until the production stop was approaching, manufacturers rarely promoted their units. Lastly is the Yamaha NMAX 150. Yamaha Indonesia Motor Manufacturing has finally confirmed that the old Yamaha NMAX model will no longer be produced. Now, Yamaha Indonesia is focusing on sales and production of the newest Yamaha NMAX model. Previously, the old Yamaha NMAX model was still being produced and sold on the market to meet consumer needs. The design is still using the first model in 2015 but is a 2021 production. The first design issued by NMAX has its own charm for Indonesian consumers, because some people prefer the initial design compared to the newest design. 